Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Morgan from My Little Homeschool in the Woods. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you our spring homeschool plans, so stay tuned. Hi guys, so today's video is actually a collaboration. It is hosted by Gina from Gina B Homeschool. I will have her channel linked down below, so be sure to check it out once you're done watching this video. She has a ton of homeschooling content and she just has a really fun personality. I think you will really enjoy her videos, so be sure to check her channel out, as well as the playlist. There's going to be a playlist that's going to be a a full of a bunch of other moms who are sharing their spring homeschool with you guys so if you are needing some ideas some inspiration you will find it in this playlist so be sure to check it out all right so to get into our spring homeschool plans you know if you've been around here at all you know that we use gather around homeschool so we are doing a new unit this spring um we're finishing up like our living off the land unit so we will be moving into our next unit which last year we did botany um so we did that from the good and the beautiful and this year we're going to be doing creepy crawlies from gather round because that's what all the kids want to do and it's probably going to be our last unit of the school year um we move kind of slow through the units so i think it will be number five actually that we've made it through once we get that done hopefully we get it done and this is what it looks like um, I don't, I'm sorry, it's got a glare, but this, um, I don't have the student notebooks printed out, but I did get the teacher's guide printed out and ready to go. So I really do need to start working on it. And just the pictures are really creepy. So yeah, this is going to be an interesting unit. I only have one child who was not thrilled about the creepy crawlies. One of my daughters, she's just like, mm, nope, but Hopefully we make it through with no problems. But I wish I could show you the other stuff, but I just don't have it ready. I will be working on that really soon because I need to get it ready because we will be finishing up our living off the land and I need to be ready to move into it. So I pulled out a bunch of books that I plan on using with our Creepy Crawl unit. Um, let's see, I pulled just a bunch of stuff off the shelf. So one thing I got, which was in my book outlet haul, is this Encyclopedia of Bugs. This is like a really, really cool book. It's got lots of really great pictures in it and just a great resource to have for a unit like this. I feel like the kids um, are really going to love using this book. Another book we already had is this 100 um, Things You Should Know About Insects and Spiders. Let's see. Just lots of good little information tidbits. So we have this book. And I also have this one. Another 100 Facts About Bugs. So this was one uh, part of my book outlet haul that I did here a while back. Um, so we'll be adding this in. Here are the kids outside. And here's another book, which my kids have really loved this book. I got this from Masterbooks like two or three years ago, I think. And um, they really do love this book. Let's see if I can show. It has really, really great pictures. It's kind of, I don't know how, how long it's going to stay together. It's really been through some stuff. But it is a really great book. So we got that one from Masterbooks. Um... Here's just some read aloud um, type picture books that my kids really like. My kids love Diary of a Worm. This is like one we pull out every spring to read. It's just about this worm and he's writing in his diary about things that happen in his life. So yeah, it's a really, really cute book. And we also have two other books that go along with this, but I couldn't find the other one. I couldn't find Diary of a Fly. We have that one somewhere, but I just couldn't find it on the shelf. So, but we do have the Diary of a Spider. So we got that one off the shelf. 
ready to go. Really great book. The kids just love these. Another book that we have not used that I already had was Bugs Galore. Um, we have, I don't like think we've read this book. We've had it for a while. But it has lots of good pictures. <laughs> so I think the kids will like it. So there's that. We have Where Butterflies Grow. I think we've read this one before. It's been a while. So do pictures do not turn for me. So we have that one. And also, my kids really like these books. It's like, um, this is a bee book, and it takes you through the pictures change with each deal. Just like that little cutout thing. So we have B to go along with our bugs. Creepy Crawly Unit. Those are the books that I have found. Um, I'm sure I have probably have more that will go along with this. This was just what I picked out. And another couple of books. These don't really go along with our bug unit, but these are really great spring books that we just really love um, that we pull out every spring. This is We Are the Gardeners. This is by Joanna Gaines. This is a really cute book. My kids really like this. It's getting that time where we're going to be working on the garden, so, you know, I don't know if you can even see the pictures, but it's just a nice book. Planning the garden. I think there's even a part in here. My kids like the part where the, yeah, the goats get in the garden because we have goats that always seem to get in our garden, so I think that's the favorite part of the book. I don't know why. <clears throat> and also... Another one is The Garden, The Curtain, and The Cross. The Story of Jesus. It is a really great book. I don't know if you can see the pictures very well. <laughs> Hopefully you can. But yeah, it is such a good book. My kids really like this one. It has really great illustrations. So I think we got this one last year, last spring. But... It's a really great book. So those are a couple that we pull out for the springtime. And yeah. So that's really our plans for spring. It's nothing grand. It's just, um, you know, our next unit trying to go along with, you know, the seasons as much as we can. But yeah, that is our plans for this spring. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got some ideas, some inspiration, and be sure to go check out the playlist when you're done watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one.